Hello, John and your son, Pierre, back looking at Kerhope Breweries 51 Pale Ale. American Pale Ale style. Oh boy. 5.8%. The website says 5.9. So who do you believe? Hmm. It's an okay score on Beer Advocate. I think I saw it was 81. I mean, it's good. So, uh, the bros haven't scored it yet. So, so whatever. Uh, Ferro Brewery was developed by a group of friends and they brewed their first batch of beer in 2012 in December. Then later on, within a month later, they opened up their brewery in 2013. So that's when the beer exist came on the scene. So I did two reviews of Fairhope Brewery. I did the, uh, Judge Roy Bean coffee stout and the take the causeway IPA and I walk therefore I amber brew so here was the paleo look like so it's a little cloudy as you can see a little bit haze here and a little it was a little orangey whatever but to the scent Have some some little, you know, citrus. I don't know what do we want to say, but to read the lettering on this beer here, I can't see it. Ah, uh, no, it just says the government warnings. You know, don't drive a car while you're intoxicated and all that other crap. So, hmm. Smell some of the malts, a lot of very hoppiness on this beer right here. So, um, oh, I think a week or two weeks ago, I sat down with Jay, uh, Ronald J. Terrio and his band of merry mates who drank beer, and we're looking at all local beers that we would try. And I, I brought this one to the examination the pale ale, the pale by um, Fair Hope. So, So it has that sense of a little hoppiness, so very lot of malt to it, or more hop than this beer than anything. So it's not like a sense of an IPA. So a little citrus, I'm getting a sense of grapefruit, a little fruit in this, in this. Just a little bit, a little bit cooked vegetables, no, but you know, it, it's getting that, it has, it has a sense of a hop, an I hop, an IPA. So. 5.509, anything can happen. So let's see what we got. Oh, I mean, it, it's getting to have a taste of an IPA, but it's not. A gift of ABV is not much in it, but it tastes like an, an IPA to me, in my opinion. And for those of you who live in this area, live in the, um, we're going to see the story about Calvin Johnson. Is it true he's coming back to the NFL? It's just mind boggling. Um, I don't know. May, may not be, but. Very strong. Very, I mean, it, it's it 
you know, I don't know what you can say is an ale on IPA, but it's kind of giving me a taste like an IPA to me. Um, Fairhope Brewery, as I mentioned, you know, Fairhope, Alabama. Most of the beers are only sold locally. Um, the big five cities in the state of Alabama, uh, of course, Mobile, um, Tuscaloosa, uh, Montgomery, Huntsville, Birmingham. Um, they do sell in the state of Auburn, the city of Auburn, excuse me, which is not far from Montgomery. And then um, Baldwin, throughout Baldwin County, where the city of Fairhope is, you know, all the surrounding cities in that county, you know, Foley, um, Bay Manette, Orange Beach, Gulf Shores, um, uh, Robertsdale, uh, Loxley, all those surrounding areas, Fairhope Breweries, pretty much. Fairhope beers are all in that vicinity, so. Um, you know, so, and also Pensacola, Florida, and I'm sure the surrounding areas of Pensacola, Florida, like Santa Rosa County, like Navarre, or, you know, Fort Walton Beach, and all that parts of the, you know, those cities, I'm sure their beers are sold there, so, um, they haven't left the area, and I think they're just kind of slowly growing themselves, you know, continuing to, con to grow and grow and grow as much as possible to maybe I know they're in Florida but maybe one day going down maybe central Florida or maybe northern Georgia maybe we'll get some of their beers in Mississippi Louisiana maybe who knows you know it may show up but I mean it's pretty good I mean for a pale ale I mean it has all those aromas of the sense of a IPA, um, but, you know, um, you know, and it's, you know, but it's a pale ale, so, what do I know, so, hmm, um, It's going good. I mean, with this, I could pair this with a, maybe a nice little beef stroganoff, maybe some potatoes, a nice steak, you know, pale ale, you know, Vienna, uh, you know, Vienna lager, but that would go good. A pale ale will also go good with that, too. Uh, beef brisket, no. Some with seafood uh, as well, but you know this this is going good. Would probably go good. I just had some crackers and cheese. You know, <clears throat> it's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna get the same score beer advocate gives it. You know, I, like I said, I had it was all right. I mean, I've had some other pale ales before from um, from New Belgium. I've had some pale ales from, of course, Sierra Nevada, which is also excellent. Very, very, very good to me. Sammy so said, very, very good to me. For real. <laughs> Is that Dana I dealt with Hunter in this baseball game? I don't know. I can't get this game right now on TV. So, I don't know. Barry Bonds, okay. Barry Bonds, he's the hitting coach for the Marlins, okay. Uh, anyway, um, I'm gonna give this beer. You know, it, it, uh, well, good match with Fairhope Brewery. They're giving craft beers a good name in the state of Alabama, which probably has not really had much of a good name over the years because many people don't. Um, sample their beers, try their beers, um, drink some of their beers in, you know, in the state, but they're really are making an effort to really give, give folks, a, you know, a sample, you know, Hey, we got some good stuff here. You can try it out. It's not bad. It's, it's pretty refreshing, pretty, 
enjoyable, you know, try it out, see what happens, you know, so. And uh, this, this is one of them, you know. So, uh, um, good people, got some good beers, um, straight to ale up in Huntsville, good stuff. You got Gadsden with the, the Back 40 Beer Company, you know. They make some good beers as well, so um, don't diss any of the beers in the Northeast. They're pretty, and in, it's the Northeast here in the, in the state of Alabama. They're pretty good, so they're not putting out crap. Anyway, um, I'm going to give them a go run, ramble, ramble, blah, 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 on and on. I'm going to give this beer a solid B plus for me. So if you've had the I hope 51 pale ale you think it's great or excellent or about to give the same score a B leave your comments on the bottom and subscribe to my channel please trying to be other beer around will tell you keep on watching and as always cheers cheers